So a little bit of background. We, in addition to running a rich media platform, we also have an analytics platform. We have um, more than 20,000 mobile applications out in the wild that use our, our basically the equivalent of a publisher side analytics platform, like a Web Trends or an Omniture or Google Analytics. So we see the adoption rates. We see how effective a media brand can gain consumer adoption of their app, how quickly a, uh, a luxury brand or a consumer brand can see downloads of their apps. And what we've seen is this radical, radical drop off in terms of adoption of of product-oriented apps for consumers, while all the while their overall engagement time on devices like this is increasing. So how do you manage that mismatch, right? There's an attention disparity between what many marketers are thinking is the right vehicle to reach consumers on a device like this and the way consumers are actually spending their time. The, the challenge with an application is, um, by the way, fabulous breakdown, very, very much in line with what we see in the marketplace. The challenge is that not only do you have to spend to build an app, not only are you now all of a sudden in the desktop or the equivalent of the desktop software development business with an app that you have to support for all intents and purposes in, per in perpetuity, um, dropping an application or stopping a content feed that may be feeding into an application may lead to an incredibly poor user experience for someone who decides to engage with that app that they downloaded a year and a half ago, a year and a half later. So the, the, the spend, um, I, I'll just all overland what Dinesh was saying, the spend ends up being significantly focused today to drive meaningful adoption on, on media, on buying media to get consumers to engage with the application. And the cost per engagement can skyrocket. We see per engagement costs for a number of the brands that have, have used our analytics platform breaking $10 per engagement. Now, if it's a particularly meaningful engagement that ultimately drives someone significantly down the funnel, then it may be worth it to do so. But there are radically less expensive ways to reach through to consumers in mobile while giving them that same experience. And the, the answer that we're seeing increasingly, and it's the answer that you'll hear from many of the mobile ad networks and certainly from Apple today, is to build a rich, engaging ad that can do basically everything that you can do in a mobile application, but in an ad unit itself where they're full screen. They take advantage of, of the native capabilities of the device. You can shake them, you can tilt them, you can scratch them. I don't think anybody's figured out sniff yet. I think it, the ads usually end up smelling like somebody's cheek. Yeah. But, but these are all <laughs> inherent capabilities of the device that frankly are the things that you'd want to build into an application. But you can get the immediacy and targeting capabilities of a network, of a publisher's, of a publisher's ad server, without having to go through the significant cost of development of the creative.